On our tiny blue world, something almost unbelievable is happening. Our massive 7.1 billion and still expanding population is altering an entire planet, putting many life forms, including our own species, in danger. Once covered in tropical forests, Costa Rica was ecologically strip mined until the 1980s. Forest was considered valueless. Coffee and banana plantations, forestry and ranching took their toll. Resort-style tourism added to the devastation. By covering the coastlines with hotels, golf courses, condos and homes. By the late 1970s, forested land comprised just 20% of the country. But in a remote southwestern peninsula of Costa Rica, a very unique and positive story is unfolding to bring back the strength and beauty of the forest, where man and beast coexist in a small little corner of our globe. It is a story of success and challenges. It is a story with threats and opportunities. But most of all, it is a love story with lessons for the world at large. In 1970, when we started, we had nothing. I can happily say that we changed the course of our nation. It is that the whole, talking about the whole ecosystem, the Ose Peninsula is one of the last portion of very humid rainforest of the whole Central America. If we tear down the forest and destroy the rainforest so the animals can't be there anymore, the people are not gonna come. And we want a green tourist that comes here. So for me, the most important thing is to protect this area from overdevelopment, but there has to be some development, but to make it sustainable. I definitely think you can do things sustainably and, uh, and, and, and make it work. Have people you know, come and stay, we can make, um, make a living and, um, and we can protect the land. But I think the important uh, lesson here is that uh, motivation and, and, and persistence can change a nation.